Hello Twin Flames, let's do a message for Thursday. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're going to bring in today the Divine Feminine 101, the Divine Masculine the Silence and the Divine Timing Deck. So let's do this then. So what's going on with the Divine Masculine today? Okay, what's going on with the Masculine today? Sometimes they're silent, sometimes they're not, but they're always thinking. So what do they want you to know today, Divine Feminine? A few cards jumping off there. What's going on with the Feminine today? How are you feeling and thinking? There we go. They just shut out the deck there. And we're going to use the Divine Timing deck to see what's going on with the connection. So what's going on with the connection? So let's start with that then. So look at this, decisions. So take September out of the equation. This is about decisions. So today decisions are on their mind and on your mind what's going to happen what's going on i feel the masculines are making a decision to move towards you you know they're making that decision and i've just done the members reading and very powerful the masculine saying to the feminine you know i'm not sleeping very well because i'm working out what to say to you so they're working out a solution they're finding the answers you know, the contemplating things, there's a decision coming in. So there's a decision moving forward. And this really makes sense with, you know, the pick-up hours I've been doing about decisions, outcomes, completion, finalizing things, sorting things out. So remember, this could be about a karmic situation, the masculine choosing themselves, making that decision to put themselves first, to free themselves up to be available for the divine feminine to show you love to be able to give you all of themselves not just part of themselves so feminine what are you saying today i wish i could kiss you and feel your breath on my face so again there's that need for that physical contact and will you ever leave her i'm tired of breadcrumbs so if they are with someone else right now the decision is coming in so will you ever leave her will you ever leave him will you ever leave that person there's a decision coming in to make that decision. And I want to do the things that normal couples do. And I want to do that with you. So really, Divine Feminine, today what you're saying is, you know, I wish I could kiss you. I wish I could be with you. I wish I could feel your breath on my face in the physical world. Will you ever leave her? Because I'm tired of breadcrumbs. You know, I want to do the things that normal couples do. And I want to be able to do that with you. I want to be able to walk down the street and get coffee and go out for a meal and, you know, sit in front of the TV and watch a box set with you. I want to be able to do these things with you and I want to be married to you. I want to have that ring on my finger. I want commitment with you. I want to walk down the street and say, this is my man or this is my girl. I want that with you because being with you makes me very happy and that's why I stick around. So you're kind of saying something's got to shift here there has to be a decision they have to make a decision to not just give you a few breadcrumbs here and there they you know you're saying i want you i want you and that's that so i feel you're being very firm today divine feminine you know setting your boundaries down and the masculine is saying in response to this look how powerful this is i'm sorting out my karmic ties okay that could be with a karmic partner but it could be a job finances an obligation children okay a family situation an addiction a negative thought pattern something they are releasing so they are making this decision so this today is the energy where you're kind of saying divine feminine okay i want you to make a decision okay this has to move forward one way or the other i've had enough i feel fear coming up I have to release that. So, you know, this fear of, is it going to happen? When's it going to happen? And again, we're being reminded constantly to let go of that, you know, to know that it will. And your masculine is saying, I'm sorry it's taking so long. You know, I'm sorry. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm sorting out my karmic ties. I'm still working it out. Give me time. I'm still working it out. I'm still doing this. Okay, I'm making the decision. In fact, I have made the decision, but I'm still working it out. So I feel the decision has already been made. It's already in their mind. It's not like they are sitting down thinking, should I, shouldn't I? Okay, what does it all mean? It's more that they've made the decision, but now they have to put the, you know, the kind of action into it. You know, they have to put their feet where their mouth is. You know, they have to walk forward. And thank you, angels. The angels are also saying they're afraid of messing it up. You know, like that foot in mouth thing. They're afraid of messing things up by acting too soon. 
you know, and hurting you, hurting that other person, hurting themselves, hurting anyone involved, like children or family members. So I'm still sorting it out. So your masculine saying, you know, I'm sorting out my karmic ties. I'm still working it out. Give me time. So another message here to have patience. What if you don't like the real me? Wow. So this is their insecurity. And I've spoke about this all week. You know, the masculine's insecurity. Will I be enough for you? Am I good enough for you? You know, you deserve the world. Can I really give that to you? What if you don't like the real me? You know, th this is the masculine thinking, wow, if you're with me 24-7, are you really going to like me? You know, who I am, my true self, my authentic self. So give me time, I will contact you. So your masculine saying, I'm making the decision to contact you. I'm having sleepless nights. I'm working out what to say. Give me time. I will contact you. So let that be your sign. You know, if you're watching this thinking, will we ever get back together? Will my masculine reach out to me? Will we reconcile? Will we come into reunion? Whatever question you have around communication right now, there's the answer. Give me time. I will contact you. So maybe you're thinking, should I reach out to them? You know, should I send another message? What should I do? Give me time. I will contact you. So your mask is saying, please bear with me. I will contact you. So I'm going to use the angel numbers oracle today. So what do we need to know for the feminine? One's just fell out there. What do we need to know for the masculine and for the journey? There we go. Wow. These cards are on fire today. So for the feminine, look at this. Your dreams are manifesting. So another reminder, this is all falling into place. Everything is, is happening the way it's meant to. You're on the right path. You are safe. And for the masculine, anything is possible. So again, look at this, seven and eight. This is about steps forward. Anything is possible. So the masculines are realizing this now, that anything is possible in this life. The only limits are the ones in the mind. And the journey, we've got 68. Focus on the end result and have no fear. What a beautiful message. Focus on the end result and have no fear. That means divine feminine. You visualize walking down the street with them holding hands. You visualize getting married to them. The ring going on your finger. You visualize sitting in front of the TV with a pizza and a box set and enjoying that. You don't worry about how it's going to happen, when they're going to contact you, when they're going to be with you. Let the universe sort all that out. You know, you ask for what you want. That means you visualize the end result. And then you have unwavering faith. That means you believe, you let go of fear, you work on you. So you ask for it and then you give it to heaven and then you get on with your day. You know, you do what makes you feel good. You work on gratitude, self-love, walking in nature, breathing, doing your job, doing your creative stuff whatever makes you happy and you forget about it so you distance yourself from the outcome and it releases that fear and then you just know it's coming so that's when you receive your dream and the, look at this working with angels so working with angels helps and this is why so many of you love you know being here on the channel and feeling the energy because you feel the power of angels you know, they're here right now, they're all around you. And when you're tuning in with these videos every day, the angels are with you every day. That's why they boost your faith, they buoy your faith. They allow you to be your own anchor, to know your truth, to stand your ground, to follow your dreams, to remember that your dreams are manifesting and that you are safe and to let go of fear because fear is a lower vibration. It's a low energy. It doesn't serve your soul. Fear is false. It's a false experience appearing to be real. It's something that hasn't occurred yet or something that we're anxious about. Something from the past that can't be changed or something from the future that hasn't yet occurred. So focus on the end result. Focus on what you want. And feminine, you're saying this, you know, being with you makes me happy. That's why I stick around. So if you're thinking, I don't know why I'm sticking around. I don't know why I bother. Then think again, because they do make you happy. And you know you're meant to be. You want to be married to them. That's why it's worth waiting for. You want to do the things that normal couples do. That's why it's worth the wait. Will you ever leave or I'm tired of breadcrumbs? The decision is coming in. You know, your masculine being very honest with you today. I'm sorting out my karmic ties. I'm still working it out. Give me time. Very honest. What if you don't like the real me? Acknowledging you know, that there's some fear there. And you're saying, I wish I could kiss you and take the pain away. And they are saying, give me time, I will contact you. So focus on the end result. Let go of fear. 
Understand that you are safe and everything is manifesting the way it's meant to be. Have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.